What's going on YouTube? It's Keegan with KeeganLanier.com. In today's video, I wanna take you through how to set up an account with SiteGround so you can make sure that your business is being set up on a great foundation with a really solid host. And just so that we're clear, this is great for entry-level sites for sites that are for a small business that will not see a huge amount of traffic, but these are great, awesome platforms to make it a, a really good entry point into the business. So I wanted to add this video, where you're gonna be able to find this if you're looking for more tips similar to this, is in this playlist right here, the business of building websites. I'm gonna drop that in here because this is a great foundational piece that fits perfectly in with this playlist. And you can watch other things like Divi and Active Campaign, uh, freelance business tips, pricing your, your web design projects, and so much more. But we're gonna go and, and just get right to it. So from our site, you know, we've got a ton of tools that we recommend and we're going to go down here to hosting and hosting. There's two companies that we use and today we're focusing on the first one. The first one being SiteGround. Flywheel is definitely amazing. It's what we host uh, or it's what I host almost all of my websites on. Anything that's a premium site goes on Flywheel. But I do have an account with SiteGround and have quite a few sites on SiteGround as well. Uh, so the beauty of clicking through here, as you can see, you know, we're going to have some partnership deals. You're going to be able to save a ton of money. Normally it's $15 a month. Uh, you're going to be able to get the startup plan for $4.99 a month. I would highly, highly, highly recommend uh, you skip the startup plan. If you're going to be building websites for clients, you want the Grow Big plan. It is the barrier to entry. Like it is the lowest that you can choose. Um, because if you look here, this is the key, the number of websites, right? So with going with a Grow Big plan, you double the amount of space, you more than double the amount of visitors. But this right here, the unlimited websites, that's the important piece. With the startup plan, you only get one. It's cool because you can get it, you $5 a month, you can build your site, you can, you can do that and you're fine. But if you're going to build, be building client websites, you want to go with Grow Big. <clears throat> And we're gonna link the, the, or put the link in the show notes below to where you can go and check out the plans. You can link straight to this page where you don't have to go and, and mess with it. Now, uh, you know, full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. Uh, we do work with, with SiteGround. And again, if you've been around here, you know I don't recommend and I don't have an affiliate account for anything that I don't believe in or don't actually use myself. I know a lot of people say that, telling you if you're here you're one of the uh, amazing 998 subscribers as of July 21st 2021 um, you know you you know exactly that that I'm not gonna bullshit you this is gonna be truth so go with the grow big plan you can use SiteGround as a great entry level they have good customer service and the platform is just solid so let's say we're gonna set this up let's go ahead and click get the plan from here you have a couple different options. You can either register a new domain or you can use a domain you already have. If you already have your domain, it's simple. You just type it in there, type in your domain and hit proceed. Um, if we were going to register a new domain, you can do that here as well. Um, I actually do have a domain that I'm gonna use here and we're gonna set up the new site here on SiteGround. All right, and in this case, I'm actually going to use a subdomain. So what we're gonna do is layouts.keeganlanier.com. And this is one that I've already got. It's over on uh, Ionos. That's where I, I've always registered all of my accounts. And so you would go through here, you know, you wanna fill out your account information, do all of that stuff, make sure this information's here, put in your payment, uh, you want to pick the time frame. The 12 months is the best deal, so it's going to give you $7.99 per month. And if you go up, it's going to average it. So this is two years, and it's uh, two years at $19.99, and, or one year at $19.99, and one year at $9.99. So it splits the difference. The 12 month deal that's going to give you $8 per month, and even at um, at you know $24 a month for unlimited websites but by the time you build up to that over the first year if you have five sites on there it's still only five dollars per site which is easy to build to your client and that's the way you do it um, this SG you know site ground site scanner that's completely up to you I personally don't use it um, but but it's again up to you um, you confirm decide whether you want to receive site ground news and then hit 
pay now. Once you've done that, it's going to take you into the back end. I'm actually going to skip around that because I have my account already and I'm gonna set up a new site with this layout. So I'm gonna jump exactly into what you would see next. All right, and so now we're logged in <clears throat> to the background or the back end of SiteGround. I'm gonna go over to websites. Since I have that grow big plan, <clears throat> I've got a few test sites in here and we're gonna set up our first website on this hosting. So let's go to add new site and you have the option similar to what you did before. You know, usually when you sign up, it's going to take you through a process. But, you know, this one right here, we're going to use the existing domain. And let's do that. Uh, Layouts.keeganlanier.com. And we'll hit continue. So it's saying the domain you wish to use is not registered in my SiteGround account as a parked um, domain. <clears throat> you should make sure that you have access to this domain in order to update its DNS settings, which I do after your site is created or your site won't show. To proceed with this domain, click continue. So that's gonna be the case if you have a domain somewhere other than where you have it hosted. You're going to have to point the DNS or the A records from the domain into the hosting, which we'll go through here as well. So are we gonna migrate a site or start a new site? In this case, we're gonna start up a brand new site. So I'm gonna hit uh, select <clears throat> and then just pick regular WordPress. And here you can you know, do whatever it is that you need to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, so we've got the, everything set up here. We can go ahead and just click continue. And I use LastPass so I could save it, but I'm not going to here again. It's asking for that SG site scanner. You wouldn't see this if you went through the initial site setup uh, because you would have already selected this one or not. I am not going to add this here. And now what SiteGround is doing is it's provisioning a part of their servers, their computers, and it's installing WordPress and setting it up so that we can use SiteGround for our site. Okay, so SiteGround has our site set up. You can see your, don your website with the domain layouts. Dikeegalanir has been created. Check out our tips to proceed to make sure your site is set up right. All right, so we've got to point the domain. I'm going to show you how to do that inside of Ionos. Um, you want to copy these name servers. And you're gonna go over to your actual registrar, wherever you have your domain, and yours could look different. Um, I highly recommend using Ionos, and if you do, this process will be exactly the same. So we're doing, you know, layouts.keegalanir. You come, click on the, click on the settings, and go to DNS, and we're looking at our subdomain, which is layouts. And so we want to add a record. And let me go back um, to the very home and I'll walk you through how I got here. <clears throat> so when you first log in, you'll go over to domains. We're looking at keeganlanier.com, but we're trying to manage the domains. We've already set up our domain for layout. So we've got layouts.keeganlanier.com right here, and we're gonna come to the settings and go to DNS. And in DNS, it's gonna be filtered out by layouts. So all we're gonna do is add two records, two name server records, because it says NS here, and these are name servers, so you wanna add the NS records. So we'll drop this one in here, we'll hit save. We'll add one more NS record or name server, and we'll go ahead and drop the second one in here, change that to the two, which matches what we had here, and we'll hit save on this one as well. So now you can see here for layouts.keegalanier.com, we've got name servers pointed to siteground.net. Um, that will make the, the website match. <clears throat> so that's all you have to do to point that domain to the site. So it takes a while. Sometimes it can take up to 24 to 48 hours for DNS to actually propagate is what they call it. But let's check it out. Layouts.keegalanier.com and see if anything shows up. It's a brand new site, so this is perfect. It's a brand new, nothing here site. This is basic WordPress installation, which is a really good sign. And we're gonna close out of our domain registrar. We don't need it anymore. And we're gonna go to manage site. And that's gonna take us into the SiteGround tools. And this is the entire dashboard. And from here, you know, we can go into our site We've, we've got everything we need, WordPress. <clears throat> Basically, this is your backend manager. You've got the file manager. You've got all the things you need, uh, which in this case, we really just need to go to the website. 
So from here, let's go back to our account and then we'll click on websites and it's gonna bring up the list of all the sites we've got inside of this site ground grow big account. And you'll see the other test ones, but we've got this layout.keganlanier. And we tested it a second ago. We'll, we'll open it up one more time. You see nothing here. <clears throat> what you want to do is go to WordPress Kit. And then you can jump into the WordPress admin. <clears throat> That's going to take us directly into the website. And you can see here, it's gonna say, welcome to your WordPress site, because we had nothing set up there. It was just a basic site. You can hit start now, and it'll ask you about these themes, which I would not recommend. Um, they're not bad, don't get me wrong. Like there's plenty of, of good options. You know, you can you can potentially look through here if you know what you're doing and you're, and you're really, uh, you know you're getting some good themes. What I'm gonna do is just continue. I don't wanna do really any of this. I don't want, contact form I don't want that I don't want a shop don't need WooCommerce WP Google Maps don't need it uh, multilingual maybe down the road but that depends on the case calendar and gallery I don't need so I'm unchecking all of this um, marketing you know optimize your site for SEO means they're gonna add Yoast SEO I personally use WPMU dev not that um, I don't use opt-in monster or any of these plugins so I'm not gonna select those either and what that's gonna do is do the final setup the very last bits to get you into your SiteGround website. And so now our site is ready. You have successfully completed the installation. You may now proceed to WordPress. So we're gonna go to the dashboard and that's the one time you'll have to do that, but it's gonna take you directly into your WordPress admin. It's gonna tell you, you know, you've got some updates that need to be done. You can see that here. The WordPress importer is already set up don't need the WordPress importer to import pages or any of that. I'm actually going to deactivate and delete that one. You can see there's a few things from SiteGround that are here. The SiteGround optimizer, the security, and then this WordPress starter. And what that is, is, is basically like this. It's gonna give you the information up front and that's that's it. But you've got your website now. So you've, you've started your site. So if we were, we have, it says my WordPress. If we open the site on the front end, my WordPress, WordPress resources at SiteGround. This is the one post that it put in here as some sample content, right? WordPress resources at SiteGround. And there's so many other things and there's different videos that we can link up here uh, for what to do next now that you've got WordPress installed. In fact, back, at our um, at our website here you've got get it start get started with WordPress there's a video that we actually have uh, that I've made that is specific about that you finish WordPress setup now what so we'll link that up you can check that out as well and yeah we'll continue to move through this process of, of laying out a strong foundation for every step you need to take to build great websites and do it at scale for multiple clients. So I hope that really helps you. Um, SiteGround is one hell of a good resource to get started with, mainly because they have incredible support. And support is, is a big thing, right? The support is everything. If you can't get good support on your products, it's just not worth the money. You know, It's not worth getting uh, $2 or $3 a month for a, a hosting service when you can't get service when things go wrong. And that's what something like SiteGround affords you is a peace of mind. You know they're gonna help you, they're gonna be really supportive, and they're gonna get your sites back on time. So I hope that this has been beneficial to you. I hope you really like it. If you do, and this is the first time you've been here, again, my name's Keegan with KeeganLanier.com. Subscribe to the channel, I'll give this video a thumbs up, and let me know down below the first site that you build if you set up with SiteGround. I'd love to check it out. I hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you in the next video.